Oh dear God, thank God that worked. Ah, uh, onto a screen that I also know works. Thank God. Okay, <laughs> Jesus H, I swear. I don't know what the heck is going on with DLC player and OBS today, but they don't like each other at all, and it is, like, impossible to play videos correctly. So welcome to my hell, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, so anyways, welcome in, guys. Again, sorry about the uh, delay on everything there, but we're a whopping two minutes behind. Oh, no. Uh, so whatever. Uh, anyways, let's get uh, this rocking again. Because we always play this when we start off our races. So anyways, again, welcome in, guys. I'm going to have to turn down my volume before I forget about this again, because I'm a dip. I love that cap of me, too. Okay, so like I said, we're ready to go here. Yes, I'm walking around my room doing stuff. Sorry about that. Anyway, so we got the Haku on the right-hand side representing your Jacksonville Jaguars. On the left-hand side, we've got uh, the boss, 10987, uh, who is representing your Kansas City Chiefs. And release the Kappa. <laughs> this is why I love you guys. You guys are all about having fun. I freaking love you guys here. So seriously, this is all about having a ton of fun. These two guys are helping me out a metric buttload already. So seriously, again, thank you to the boss and the Haku. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal to me so far. Welcome both of them to the league, guys. On that note, you can do that in their chats by getting into this dual link here. Let me make sure I get the right one. Lo and behold, I didn't screw something up. Yes, finally. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> welcome to eSports, derpage. No, I'm kidding. Uh, seriously, though, we're about to start racing here. Uh, both are going to be using Isaac. They both have the same save file. Uh, you can see they both reset a few times. They both have their item room sitting right in front of them. Uh, so they're pretty much good to go here. Uh, so if they are on a call, and I'm kind of assuming that they are, uh, they can go ahead and start the race whenever they want to. If I have to do the countdown... Okay, they are. <laughs> right as I'm saying it, Haku answers. Thank you very much. Go ahead and start whenever you guys are ready. Uh, during that time here, I'll explain the rules. Uh, what we do is we race down... Excuse me. Whoa, I miscaptured Haku. Something fierce. I just realized how bad I miscaptured Haku. Hold on, let me move this. Hey, look at that. Now it doesn't actually cut that box. Sorry, OCD folks. <laughs> that should be better. Anyways, um, like I was saying... Uh, so we're going to take Isaac. Uh, they have the D6 on them. It is only usable against some of the, uh, the banned items, which are the Bible, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, the Shovel, Ipecac... Uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Toothpicks. Uh, toothpicks don't actually do anything. Uh, Dead Sea Scrolls uh, can give you a use of the shovel, so we don't want to even bother with that. The shovel will take you down to another floor every six rooms that you clear. It'll charge up again and let you go there. Um, the fetus items are infinite bombs, so are so is Ipecac. That just makes it a little too unfair. You can bomb through doors and just make your runs way too fast. So we didn't want it to be about that. And here you go. They're off and running. Good luck to both racers. And looks like Loki's Horns for the boss is his first pickup. You can see what it does there. It ups your tier rate, a.k.a. your fire rate. And also gives you firing off in all four directions there. Ooh, tech two for the Haku. Again, let me explain real quick. I am recapturing two streams, so there will be a very slight delay there. That's why Haku took off a little bit later. Oops. And looks like we just got a... Oh, that's why we got the frame derpage, because he reset. That would explain it. Oh, no, he didn't. It just frame derped out. So, again, every now and then, because I'm also recapturing two streams, you're going to see stuff like that happen, where you get that little lag ball. It's going to happen from time to time. Yeah, Haku's getting ahead with it here. I'm going to refresh his real quick in hopes that that takes care of it. Do, do, do. Boom. Let's try that. Yeah, that was a little bit behind. So he's already in his boss fight. There we go. Good thing I'm a turbo member and I don't get ads because otherwise this would get real annoying. Anyways, technology too, as you can see, fires a consistent stream of a laser out there. It is actually ticking like, um, kind of like Brimstone does, I guess, for lack of a better term. You can see it where it kind of like, you know, it moves just slightly in there. That's it actually going like on and off. Uh, you can still up it with your tier rate up so you can fire more often, believe it or not. And just like that, boss is just going to be about done. There we go, with his uh, Duke of Flies. Just has to finish off the flies in the room. Oh, that Headless Horseman kill for the Haku. Jacksonville. Ooh, he just got T-Bowed, sir. No, wait. I mean, wait, no, hold on. He wasn't going there. No, you know, I'm joking. Uh, anyways, but no, that Headless Horseman on the first floor, never a bro. But on that note, the Cat of Nine fails for uh, the boss, so he's going to be moving on with a little more shot speed. Probably was hoping for some damage up or health up off of that, but... Oh no! <laughs> Haku down. Now that that seriously is just one of the worst fights you can get on the first basement floor. Now mind you, if you would have gotten the item off of it, like you were saying, that's one of the best items you can get right at the beginning of the game. That flying ability and plus two speed. Yes, please. Yes, absolutely, please. And man down, man down. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, like I said, everybody can give all the crap that they want to the racers for dying whenever they do, but A, have you played Isaac? B, have you played Isaac in front of 2,300 people live? Nope, no pressure. Trust me, none. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're an idiot, actually, bro. You're gone. Um, but yeah, if you would have listened to anything that I said about, like, oh, I don't know how you can't use the D6 except against five items, um, or read anything that was posted to you at any point besides just being an idiot on the internet, you would have caught that. <laughs> He's been in here for about an hour. I've explained that about five times, so that was the noob. Just saying. Can be anybody on the internet, kids. Choose wisely. All right, so Haku on in here. Let's see. Ooh, Daddy Long Legs. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So that, you will see the shadow following around Haku here. As soon as he gets into an enemy room, which, of course, is going to take a second or two, I'll actually explain what it does. You'll see a gigantic leg pop out, and that's actually going to... Of course, he's got no enemies in the first room he goes into. I'm sitting here trying to show you what this thing does. And it's just not working with me. Come on. There we go. All right, so there you see that uh, spider foot. Well, it's a gigantic spider foot, but you see that foot dropping out. There you go. Once again. There you go. Once again. That's his item. Pretty useful, I gotta say. That's, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. That doesn't show up too often. That's one of the rarer ones. So Haku got lucky on this. Yep, it's called Daddy's Love. Alright, so let's see here. Still working with... Ooh, I was going to say, that might have gotten a little close there for the boss, but ooh, that got even closer. Still holding on to that Eternal Heart there with absolutely no protection for it. The boss is really hoping that he doesn't get hit anywhere in here. Also hoping he comes across his boss fight soon. There we go. Now the boss is looking at his boss fight. Ooh, these spiders. It's every time you pick up an Eternal Heart, you get like the worst spider rooms where you're just so worried that you're going to lose it instantly. And let's see, Haku looking at a second item room and a second boss fight for that matter, so we've evened everything up here. The teleporting remote, so every couple of rooms Haku's going to be able to teleport himself. Again, uh, this brings up a point about the womb 2. Uh oh, lag on the boss side. Uh, anyways, uh, this brings up a point about the womb 2. Uh, last year in the first race, real quick, Haku getting health up and a devil deal, we'll see what he gets. I'll explain the rule in a second. Ooh, the nail. Yeah, that's going to quickly replace the, uh, the teleporting remote. Yes, indeed. So, as you can see, uh, using the nail actually ups your damage and gives you one soul heart in the room that you're in. So he actually kind of sort of wasted that, but he would have used it in this room anyways, and it would have been overkill whatever he did. Uh, so Haku's got a great item right there. It takes six rooms to recharge, but that's a phenomenal item for him. Uh, anyways, going back to the rule I was talking about, we call it the Magic D250 rule. Uh, last year in the very first race, Magic D250 randomly used a pill uh, that was a teleport pill. Uh, I'm the womb too, and I wound up taking him to the I am error room. Now, if you remember, we raced through the womb too, through mom's heart in our best of threes. Uh, so he kind of skipped over mom's heart. Ooh, the Ankh shows up again for the Haku, so a little bit of extra life. Should Haku die, he's going to come back to life as the blue baby. Uh, again, the boss is working on a Caves XL. I didn't mention this before, so he's got both the Caves 1 and the Caves 2 jammed together into one floor. <clears throat> Excuse me again, sorry about that. Anyways. Going back to what I was saying, the uh, the Magic D250 roll, uh, if uh, you do that and you teleport past Mom's heart like he did, uh, that basically means that the next floor just became your finishing floor. So you now have to kill the devil instead of Mom's heart. If you forced yourself into Sheol with Mom's heart, you've got to kill a boss somehow and get a kill on your account to get the, uh, the win here. That's up, KJ. How you doing? Ooh. Chicken from the grill, like, yeah, oh my god, Prodigy, hell yes. That sounds so good right now. You have no idea how good that sounds. Wow. All right, so Mom's Pad for the boss on the uh, the left-hand side. Uh, you will see as he uses that, that will actually basically scare everything in the room. Like, if you were to hold up a maxi pad, like, he'll, well, he probably ain't going to do it in this room. But, like, if you were to hold that thing up and just be like, hey, check this out, everybody would run away from you, wouldn't they? Same theory. Uh, so that's basically what happens there. And Haku ripping right on through his boss. Oh, nice. He actually got the triacnid leg in here. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. That's kind of a weird glitch. Uh, so Mr. Squeezy for two fire rate up. And, uh, or, uh, yeah, it is two fire rate up. 
uh, and the uh, Soul Hearts off of it. Also, Haku getting a Devil Deal is going to take the Lucky Foot, so that basically gives him PhD effect uh, without actually telling him what the pills are. Uh, but it ups your gambling chances, I think, by like 17% uh, you get a chance to win. And then uh, basically all your pills are going to be good or neutral at worst. So he's going to be taking every pill he comes across now. Very good item right there. Lucky Foot, or Luck Foot, I should say, is always a bro. That is always a bro. Unless you're Kane. You don't kind of need it. Other than that, though, always a bro. <laughs> Yeah, you go from 33 to 50%, so yeah, about a 7. It, it's a little more of an increase than that, but number-wise, if you're looking at it, 17% increase. We'll just call it that. If you really do the math to it, it's slightly different. So let's see, boss is looking at his item room, his second item room, I should say, and he's going to have to go looking for his two boss fights for the caves. That's going to get confusing, the boss and the boss fights. Yeah, you know what I mean, though. On the left, the Chiefs, the, Can or the Kansas City Chiefs, the boss 10987 who is in his item room looking at and passing completely on, uh, um, oh lord, I can't think of the name of it now. Wow, Kamikaze. This is going to be a long night, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a real long night. Nonetheless, he's going to pass on that. Uh, that does what it sounds like. It's Kamikaze, basically speaking. And by the way, great use of the pad there. Great use of the pad by the boss on that side. So Haku knows where his boss fight is. He's going to go looking back for his item room. Oh, speaking of lucky items, the boss also has a lucky, or the boss has a lucky toe now. So the, uh, the minor version of uh, the luck foot, and I do mean the very minor version, that doesn't give you anywhere near the luck up that the other one does. <laughs> Timmy. All right, so let's see here. Going into his boss fight now. Yep, leaving that polar right behind, kind of what I figured. Being, well, he's got enough keys. Being, now he's got his charge. So there you see the uh, the nail coming. Ooh, that sucked. Nail coming into effect. Ooh, wow. Wretched's being a total douchebag to Haku right now. Jeez. Those spider shots were getting, like, right up in him. That's terrible, man. Wow. More devil deals. So there's tears up and damage up on uh, Haku's side. Oh, and Krampus. So he's going to wind up with the uh, the lump of coal. Uh, so for Haku, he's going to wind up having an item that as shots move further away from him, are actually going to increase in size and in damage. So that's actually kind of a nice item, depending on what you combine it with. Yeah, boss is going straight up risky here. I like it. It's scary, but I like it. So for those that don't know, you can use Kamikaze by hugging walls, which you're going to see right now. There you go, without it injuring you. That is okay in this league, because uh, there are real risks to this. God forbid, you go, like we saw this yesterday. If you lean up against a wall that actually opens up as a door, like a super secret room or a uh, secret room entrance, and uh, you use it that way, and you think that you're going to get away with not getting damage done on you, you're wrong, because uh, that kind of actually ended a run for somebody yesterday. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? It's, it's not a guarantee that you're going to win. You're still risking yourself. So down goes boss. Down goes boss. We both had a death so far. So like I said, the uh, the uh it's not a guaranteed glitch that like, oh, I'm invincible. I can't be touched. It's still risky. Ooh, not a bad start though. Triple eye. So triple, or inner eye, I should say. Triple shot for the boss. Not a half bad restart there. So again, never count anybody out. Just deaths at any time and the other person getting a heck of a build behind him. That's all it could take. But right now we got the the uh, the Haku. Sorry, there's so many thes being said, it's screwing with me. Uh, the Haku on the right-hand side, representing Jacksonville, is in the lead right now. He's in the Depths 1 looking at his first boss fight. So we'll see if he's willing to go in there or wants to go back and find his item room first. But he is looking at his boss fight well in the lead at this point. Uh, the boss is catching up now on his first uh, boss fight here. The uh, Duke of Flies once more. Fumble, Fumble Ruski, Fumble Latis. Hopefully the Jags will win something this year. It's probably going to have to be in this league, I hate to tell you. It's going to have to be Haku winning it for the Jags. If they're going to do anything this year, I, I yeah, I, I kind of hate to say it. Oh, what's the item foot spider? That is called Daddy's Love. Excuse me. 
coming up with the crumps as the commentator for the league. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, how many times can we throw the in the same sentence? <laughs> That's why I love you guys. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so the boss is looking at a second item room already here, so he's playing catch up pretty quickly. Uh, Haku just took down Gish, so he's going to get little Gish as a follower that'll shoot out some tar shots, and looks like he is going to go back and look for his item room here. And it's going to be all the guys with the in their name versus Tub Morag. Because, yeah. Morag can't spell. Yeah. And stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> nice move there, Haku. I kind of like that idea. I've never actually thought to do that before. Especially having uh, having Daddy's Love Spider coming in. That's kind of a great idea. Hmm. So, he kind of rounded everybody up in the dead center of those spikes there. If those enemies jump on spikes, they'll still take damage like you would assume that they would. So that's actually a really good move, and then got them all cornered into the same area where the foot actually stomped on every single one of them. So, really good move there by Haku. So this is why I love watching other people race, guys. You wind up picking up so many little pointers like that. <laughs> Hitaku got you on man. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, damn right, I'll steal those strats all day. So there you see the portable IV bag for Haku. Uh, drop himself down. Uh, wow, he's going to get a lot of money out of that, actually. Ooh, pinking shears. So a space use item for uh, for the boss here. Think about it, where the hell was his... What am I forgetting? The hell is his D6 at? <laughs> What am I forgetting on that one? Uh, anyways, uh, Haku dropped himself down real low on health there to make some money off of the portable IV bag. It's just what you would think, a portable way to use a blood machine. Uh, let's see, he's going to go back and grab that heart first. And I'll be damned, he is still going to go back and look for his item. I did have forgive me now, okay. I didn't even see him when he picked it up. He's probably busy watching Haku's at that point. Alright, so a bunch of pills. Looks like Boss is going to be one of those racers that says absolutely no thanks. So we'll have to see if he gets double pills on the same floor if he's willing to take them. But obviously not right there. So I hate when that happens after boss fights. Like, I really worry about taking pills. And so do most of the racers. They don't want stat downs, especially in a race. So most of them don't tend to take it. Yeah, the shears are really overpowered. So as you can see, it basically cuts off your body from uh, your head, and your head floats around doing, uh, you know, whatever shots you're doing. The body runs around doing damage by spewing blood on whatever it hits. Yeah, combo that with a habit. Oh, you get some fun. You get a couple of your bodies running around the room. Whatever's in the way is dead. And Harlequin Baby, because yes, you can use it multiple times in one room. Uh, Harlequin Baby for the Haku on the right-hand side, so another really good follower. So he's going to be popping uh, those V-pattern uh, red shots out. So really, really good item there. There's the item room for the boss. Too bad he has no keys at the moment, so he can't exactly get into it. So it'll be a second or two until he phones up finding it. Why not just Team Valentine's, and then you cover, you know, being on both Morag and Diana's team. Ooh, very nice again. So the Haku finding uh, Mom's Purse. So he's got the curved horn at the moment. That is uh, two damage up. Now he just picked up the rusty key. That's more chance of key spawning. Now you notice he's got two trinkets, whereas uh, right now the boss could only hold out to one if he had it. Uh, Mom's Purse gives you that second trinket slot, so that is a phenomenally awesome item, quite honestly. You can pick up a lot of good stuff holding on to that. <laughs> Diana. <laughs> See? It doesn't take much to come up with good names for stuff, and it worked beautifully, right? Yeah, winning. So moving on to Depths 2, we got the Haku on the right-hand side, pretty well in the lead at this point. But the boss moving on to his Caves 1 boss, which will be, um, oh good lord, I can't think of his name. Uh, uh, Fistula, I can't think of his name. So this splitting bastard will be really easy with triple shot, let alone the body running around. Ah, that flash lag. God, how we hate you and will not miss you when Rebirth hits. Anybody else going to miss this slowdown? Because I'm not. <laughs> I 
Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm certainly not. And there's a click to tweet buttons and the links. Uh, Boiler.org is the actual main website for uh, for the league. You'll have all the uh, stats, all the, well, not stats. You'll have all the standings, uh, all the links to the, uh, the past videos in case you miss one of the races. Uh, all the results will be on there, obviously. Uh, the rules are listed on there. You can find out who's representing what, uh, basically who's representing what NFL team. If you don't know what the NFL is, that's the National Football League uh, in America here. Ooh, Haku, I'm not sure, was he had to think about going into that store. Uh, and gets the steam sale out of it. So in the last possible store, he can now save 50% in any following store. That's a thumbs up right there, Haku. Oh yeah, that's a winner. And he picked it up anyways, because hey, why not? And there's the uh, split link for you, catcar.net uh, splits got the uh, the two racers side by side. Be sure to mute one of them though, because otherwise you're going to get a lot of repeating audio and it's going to sound very, very strange. <laughs> nice, Hydra. <laughs> very nice. And for any one of the, uh, the mods or the subs that wants to, uh, to ever do the, uh, the links for the, uh, the dual races, uh, it's whatever race number it is, so it's race three on this one. Next one will be race four, race after that, race five, so on and so forth. Always going to be the easy way to do it. I'll update them the night before, so, like, you know, if you guys even get in here before the first race, that'll be updated for you. I see how it is, Chaotix. I see. Yet there's no love. I'm, I'm hurt by this. I don't know what to feel anymore. Actually, I feel hurt by this. That's what I feel. I'll tell you right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so Gertie on uh, the left-hand side for the boss is his enemy, or his boss. See, I'm trying to change this up, and I can't think of better things to say than boss and boss and boss again. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get a, a... What's the word? Thesaurus. Yeah, see, I need a word for that, too. <laughs> God, it's going to be a long night, guys. we got a lot of races to go. This is race number three out of seven today. And if you think this is going to be a long day, go check out the schedule and look at next Friday and Saturday. And now tell me how much I'm going to sleep. <laughs> What's up, Chris? How you doing? <laughs> Springsteen. Call me Springsteen. <laughs> yeah, the boss is killing the boss. Like a boss. Boss in it. At half a heart. That's pretty boss. See, I, I keep going with this, guys. <laughs> Alliteration's fun. I'm kidding. Um, it's not the right word either, but you know what I mean. I'm just, that's the first thing that came to mind. Either way, just about done with Gertie here. Hopefully you can get through this room because he is rocking that real risky half a heart right now on the left-hand side. Keep on dodging. Man, that flash lag. I will not miss flash in the slightest bit. Oh, please, Rebirth. Oh, please. There you go. I was going to say, get up to that half a heart, sir. That's bossception. <laughs> yeah, Daddy's Love is the item that's bringing that spider foot down out of the sky for anybody wondering. And that's on the right-hand side, obviously, for the Haku. If you guys haven't been paying attention every now and then, that a spider foot comes down out of the sky and crushes enemies. Uh, the boss picked up a pentagram there, so that's plus two damage on the left-hand side. Plus two damage on the left-hand side. <clears throat> it, it fits, whatever, you get the idea. I'm sorry, I will stop singing very catchy, like, 1980s and 90s tunes that will get stuck in your head with the wrong lyrics from here on out and torture you for the rest of your days. I promise this. Yep, pretty much exactly what it is, DS. Um... So basically, like, because the boss is Kansas City, his first round matchup would have been against whoever's representing Jacksonville. Uh, so Haku took Jacksonville as his team. Well, he didn't take Jackson. I gave him Jacksonville as his team. I'm sure he wasn't happy with that. Uh, but beside the point, <laughs> actually, no, did you want? I forget. He might have actually wanted. Well, don't type this. I know you're going to type this if I ask you a question. Don't answer, Haku. Keep racing. Um, either way. Um, but I, I put him on the, the Jaguars, basically. So... That made that first round matchup, so on and so forth. Each week's going to be the same as the NFL, like carrying on week by week. Yes, the rooms only go, er, rooms. The runs only go to the womb, too. I just combined like four words there. What's that, Gambit? Yeah, I could basically just be like Kansas City and then Jacksonville. Like, I like calling them out by their names, though, because it's the first week and nobody knows exactly who all's racing yet.
Yeah, touche, Gardashu. Touche. I, I, again, touche. All right, so there you see Mom's Pad showing up again. Haku's going to say no thanks. Take those soul hearts that were sitting outside for him. And there you see how to actually glitch out. Mon not glitch out, but how you actually get through the, uh, the Monster 2 fight easily. Go to the side of him. Wait until you see him kind of turn 1-2. Spit out that thing. One, two. Well, it doesn't even matter that time. It's a little too late for me to keep telling you. But watch him do like one, two, and like move on number two when you count that. And he'll keep shooting side to side. Just keep going side to side on him. Schedule. We can get that link for you. Uh, for, because I can spell. There you go. Ah, it's actually on boiler now. <laughs> Alright, so through his mom's fight, Haku is going to take... Let's see. I was going to say, he's definitely taking that curved horn with him. He doesn't really need keys so much, so he leaves the rusty key behind. Going to take his Polaroid and curved horn. So plus two damage from the curved horn, and the Polaroid is, technically speaking, if we had to go further, that would get you into the actual final level. But... Uh, at this point, it would basically only be a 5-second damage shield if you got down to half a red heart or less, depending, if you're the blue baby. Now oh, the boss making a huge comeback. Keep in mind, like I said, never count anybody out, guys. By the way, he's holding on to the safety cap. That has a uh, higher chance of pill spawning at the end of rooms. But yeah, never count people out, guys. Doesn't matter how far back they are. We've seen about a 20-minute comeback between uh, Eddie, uh, Eddie Ruckus and the Morag last year. So, uh, yeah, they're, I never count anybody out. I don't care where they're at, how much health they got, nothing. Like, you cannot count people out. What's up, Clash? How you doing? But yeah, right now, Haku's still got the lead on the right-hand side. He is one floor ahead of the boss. Boss is also rocking that one half a heart, fighting Super Greed right now. So as you can see, Super Greed pops out quad shot. And just wait till he spawns enemies. There you go, the little mini Greed heads. Welcome to hell. But, oof. Boss is lucky he's got an orbital. Oh, but the Cuban meat was behind him that time. Down goes the boss again. That super greed sucks. I hate that fight. I've never been fond of those mini greed heads, so Haku's got himself a rather large lead right now. And by the way, if you're wondering why he's bombing random rocks, any rocks in the womb can actually be an item rock. So you might get the, uh, the small rock, you might get a key, you might get some soul hearts out of it. And as you can see, he was giving it a shot. Why the heck not? I just made that rhyme. All in due time. Yeah. Horrible customer service. Will not shop again. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. All right, so Aku's grabbing up those heels and whatnot. Gonna head back for his boss fight here. He's only got the one key, so he has to leave that lock chest behind. He can't get to it any other way. Does this season go into 2014? No, it will not. I will still finish this year. Um, gonna take, let's see, 17 weeks for the regular season. So that's four weeks in a month. And then, or four weeks in a month. Let me try that again. Four months in a week. Dyslexia fork year found. Um, and then playoffs are five weeks. So a little under half a year, basically. Alright, so squeezy for boss. Haku just about done with conquest here. We already know what he's gonna wind up with an item from here. Or with as an item from here, boy, I can talk. Woo! Thank god for that five second damage shield. That Polaroid coming into effect. That was a Polaroid, guys. He got down to half a red heart and it spawned the Polaroid. Did you really just like okay, I was wondering if he was doing that just to make a joke about like he probably could have taken that back with you. Where you are you going? Oh, he's grabbing this heart. Grabbing this one half a heart because it's all he got. Ooh, no, is he? Maybe. Hmm. He's, uh... Okay, the reason he's considering that is because if he gets hit once, he's at least going to get a five-second damage shield. Uh, if that were a full heart, Hockey would take that, no question. But... Mm, decision time. Does he take the pony? Does he take the nail? Pony makes you a lot faster. Nail makes you a lot healthier. Ooh, he's going to take the nail, guys. So, on to what could be his last floor. Oh, God. Haku's going to have to run away from these. I hate these exploding poop socks. This sucks. All right, down to half a heart again. I have to be really careful. Wow. 
You got so lucky there, dude. All right, so now up to a heart and a half. Wow, Haku's living on the edge. So now it's going to be two and a half hearts as he gets his heart from his nail there. Oh, and right back down to it. He almost had no choice but to walk into some type of damage on that one. That was pretty much going to happen. All right, so everything cleared out of this room except for the guy in the middle, which Haku's just going to wait a second or two. Is <laughs> Really? That spider leg's just troll at him right now. So the second he moves, the spider leg will come down. Wow. Spider leg's being a douche. There you go. Wow. Daddy's love not being so loving right now. <laughs> oh, the arcade. Wow. With 39 cents, Haku is just praising some sort of sun god at the moment. Wow. Unbelievable timing on that. Like, Haku needed this so freaking bad. Uh, the players can probably hear me. A lot of times they keep my audio going. Uh, sometimes they don't, though. Hey, what's up, Cyber Cheetah? How you doing? Yeah, praise the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Chaotix. <laughs> Very nice. There's some red hearts for Haku. So again, he's going to keep it on the half red heart at the moment if he can, because that will mean that if he gets hit at some point and gets down to that one, ha or one half of a red heart left, uh, keep in mind everything in the womb hits you for a full heart. So there you go. He's going to keep himself at that half heart. Very nice. Haku's looking very healthy right now. He does not want that half heart, but uh, the Polaroid will enact if you get down to that half a red heart. Uh, if you get hit, it gives you that five second damage shield that saved his butt twice. So he's making sure that he keeps it really active, or possible to be active, I should say. I was going to say, I'm surprised he hasn't blown up the heart machine yet. Ooh! That almost full heal, very nicely done. So he's still got a little bit of backup time, too, here. And, ooh, wow. I think he made all of his money. He actually made a profit in this room. Haku full healed and got a profit out of that arcade. Wow, not bad. Yeah, uh, boss died a second time, that is correct. Would the fly in the shop hit for one full damage? Yes, it would. Even the heart machine hits you for one full damage. Now, the trick down in the womb uh, and anywhere below that is anything with a heart machine, you can actually use the machine twice. Uh, so for that one health that it's going to take, you can actually do it twice. And look at that. Right before he goes into the final boss fight, that inner compass again, by the way, uh, Haku picks up the virus, which gives him poison touch. So anything that touches him will take poison damage over time. He's going to take out these two eyes really fast, and let's start working on the actual heart. Ooh, that bomb in the center, that was a lucky spawn, so there's a lot of extra damage on the heart. So Haku's well ahead here. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's, he, he's the Kansas City Chiefs. So you got to break that curse at some point. It just, it takes a while to get that stigma of the cheats out, you know? Like, you, you got to burn the Chiefs out of your, you know, like, out of your knowledge base. Like, I'm not, I'm not the Chiefs, I'm, I'm representing Kansas City. That's what it's about. So, like, boss will get that here. Trust me. Trust me. It'll be fine. I mean, hell, Haku got that in the first one. I mean, somebody had to win, mind you. But, I mean, he's Jacksonville, for God's sake. <laughs> then again, did anybody expect the Browns to win a game? I mean, I'm not saying... The, and again, congrats to Haku on this one. I'm just... We're relating this to football, not the Racers, by the way, guys. But nonetheless, like, congrats to Haku on that one. Jacksonville is up one to nothing in this matchup. If I would hit the right buttons... There we go. Now I hit the right buttons. There we are. So that updated the scoreboard. So it's one to nothing for the hockey right now. <laughs> oh, God, this gift. <laughs> nice, dude. Very nicely done. That arcade was woo. All I got to say is woo to that arcade. So very nice. About a 30-minute run on that one. So on that note, really quick, give me a minute. We're going to let both of these guys reset a few times. They're going to get the... Uh, there you go. You can see Boss already resetting himself. Uh, but <laughs> even better. Oh, God. It's death from above! Kappa Kappa. <laughs> Freaking love it. <laughs> I like that too, oh my god. It's the raw lamb. <laughs> I want you, raw lamb. I mean, oh, to follow Boiler. No, 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 you weren't supposed to read the thing in the background. I'm giving you crap there, boss. Anyways, give me one minute, guys. We're gonna run some ads here so that we can uh, pay the bills and get the cat some catnip, as you know how this goes. Believe me, we all know how this one goes. Uh, but in the meantime, <laughs> there's that Kappa Kappa. <laughs> Anyways, in the meantime, check out www.boiler.org. That'll give you all the uh, the standings, all the information on who's representing what team, all that good stuff. Uh, so check that out in the meantime so that you don't uh, necessarily have to really watch it. Uh, because we know nobody wants to. Uh, I'm going to muffle myself while I say stuff like that, though. Give me one minute. These guys are going to reset, and we'll be right back with you. Thank you for all the support, everybody.
Alrighty, and we're back. And again, don't call out lurkers, guys. There's a reason they're not talking in chat. It would be like if you looked like, okay, let's just say like, you know, like your pet just died and you look like you're down now. People are just like, hey, how you doing? Why are you not talking? Why are you not talking? Why are you not talking? You're going to punch somebody in the face, right? Like, leave the lurkers be. They're lurking for a reason. Let them lurk. Big up to lurkers. Just saying. Leave them be. <laughs> leave them be. They're cool. They ain't doing nothing. They ain't, they ain't hurting you. They're hugging you. You just don't know it. Lurking hugs. Lots of good stuff. Anyways, we're back, guys. So, <laughs> lurk is going to lurk. <laughs> we'll get there somewhere. Anyways, uh, but nonetheless, seriously, guys, welcome back. We got uh, round number two of this race starting up here. Uh, so, uh, we got the Haku on the left. Has a one to nothing lead at the moment over the boss, 10987. Uh, th 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 let me try that again. Those are your representatives of the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Kansas City Chiefs, respectively. Uh, so, again, you see we are starting off on the first floor. They're good to go whenever they're ready, by the way. They're on a call, so they're going to do their own uh, starting countdown. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ravager. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyways, uh, so again, they're going to do their own countdown. Uh, you'll see a little bit of a delay on when they start uh, side by side. Uh, I am recapturing two streams. There's a little bit of a delay just because they live in different... Excuse me. They live in different areas. Broadcast to different uh, different servers. All sorts of craziness like that. So there's all sorts of nuttiness going on with that stuff. <laughs> Let alone... Rah! <laughs> I love that gif. I knew, that was, I knew what that was the second I saw it, too. Love it. Uh, anyways, so... <clears throat> yeah, the score really could end up 2-1. to one. It's an extra point versus a safety. No, so they're off and running, and it was pretty even on that one, too. So, wow, the pinking shears for the Haku this time, and the bomb bag for uh, the Boss 10 uh, Again, uh, basically, look at the uh, the two bodies that are running around on the Haku screen, spewing out blood. That's basically what happens when you use the pinking shears. Your body will actually do that and run over to whatever enemies it sees. Uh, every couple rooms you have a, uh, with a bomb bag that the boss has, you're going to wind up getting a bomb out of it. Or maybe two at the best. Speaking of bombs, nice use of that troll bomb coming after Haku. He's going to actually leave those soul hearts for the time being. Again, there is reasoning for this. Haku will be back for those soul hearts, guys. Guarantee it. Here's the thing. If he gets hit in this room, he can replace the red hearts with what you see on the mini-map. Now, if he gets hit in this room and he had already picked up those soul hearts, see, like this... So, now, had he gotten those soul hearts already, he would have just lost half a soul heart. Kind of irreplaceable. This, on the other hand, now he gets his health up. He's going to grab that one of the half-red hearts here. Now he's going to go back out and get those soul hearts. After he goes through the curse room that I forgot about that I didn't see on his mini-map. So, again, because he can heal those red hearts, he's going to go into the curse room first here. Then he's going to go back and get those soul hearts. Ooh. Ooh, speaking of soul hearts, he's going to get all the health back from entering. Question is, will he take Guppy's tail? He has no keys. Ooh, yes, he will. Risky, risky. So uh, the Haku is going to have many more lock chests spawn for him here. Uh, also going to have a very low drop rate on his keys, so that's interesting. Yeah, the funny part, guys, I dropped one second worth of frames. It was one second. It's cool. Why take two of the three bombs? Because he would have had to walk through that soul heart to pick it up. That's why he was leaving those behind. So Guppy's tail is basically going to make it so he gets no key spawns, and all of his chests are going to be locked uh, like yellow chests, kind of like that door on his right-hand side. Uh, also ups your curse so that you have more of a chance. Wow, that fly just changed into something else. That was kind of weird. Uh, any you don't have a key, Haku. Um, <laughs> speaking of that curse, uh, so you have less of a chance of getting keys, uh, more of a chance of finding devil items at least. Very nice placement on this bomb. Ooh, and he got a key out of it too. And a lot of money. Very nice secret room. So Haku's up to a lot, or a whopping 28 cents. Also got lucky and got a key out of that item rock there, so he gets his item room too. Speaking of bombs, the Anarchist Cookbook would drop six random bombs across the room. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. Ooh, there you go. Mizu says if the uh, the Jags win this, uh, best two out of three, then he'll be doing a giveaway. So, Haku, if you win, Mizu's doing a giveaway in your honor. So, no pressure. No pressure. And I'm just saying, you know, boss, uh, you, you don't have to worry. Just go ahead and beat him. Uh, nonetheless, PhD for the boss there, so he's going to get nothing but good and neutral pills, and it will also tell him what the effects of those pills are. Uh, if he actually needed a red heart heal, he would have gotten, I think it's four hearts that that'll heal you for. If not, it's three. Uh, but he was full on health anyways. The unicorn horn will give you, uh, I think it's seven seconds of invincibility and attack. Oop, speaking of pills, boss will take that, no question. So tier rate up, so that means he's going to fire faster. 
Got another Soul Rock there for uh, Haku. I almost guarantee he's going to blow that up. So once again, more uh, Lock Chest Spawns. <laughs> once again, more Lock Chest Spawns. That's Guppy's Tail coming into effect for the Haku. Correct. The D6 is only allowed to be used against us uh, seven items this year. Is it seven? I think it's seven. Pretty sure it's seven items. Uh, the Bible, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, the Shovel, uh, the Toothpicks, because they're dead item, they don't do anything. And um, there's one other one. Uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls are all outlawed. Uh, you can use the D6 only against those items, and only, obviously, if you still have your D6. Uh, so a little health up for the boss, and... Ooh, the Dead Dove. So uh, spectral, uh, spectral Tears and Flying for the boss there, so very nice pickup. I'm surprised he kind of forgot about that bomb that, that was sitting there. Really surprised he didn't take that. Either way, though. Yeah, yes! <laughs> I think the boss is happy. So we got pills on Haku's side. Let's see. Two I found pills and ate him. We got one luck up. And, ooh, balls of steel. Very nice find. So that was actually a really good grouping of pills right there. Yeah, if you use the poop and then shoot the poop out, there's a chance something will be in it. I don't think movement speed affects the body at all after it's, uh, uh the pain shears are used. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Alright, so both of the moment on Caves 1. Again, uh, boss can fly here. He has no keys to get into that, though. So I was going to say, it gives you a little bit more access to a few things, as far as, it, especially in the caves. You're going to get a lot more access to items. Case in point. And I already found his boss room. Wow, so, hmm, let's see. wonder if the boss is going to be... Yeah, he's probably going to go back and find his item room, too. But he's definitely going to go on and fight this boss room first. Ooh. Variant Pestilence, so as you can see, a lot more tears being fired out here. This guy's a real pain in the butt. Nonetheless, he's going to wind up with a Cuban meat off of this fight. Wow, thankfully he can fly. I forgot he had Spectral Tears, too. I was like, how do you just shoot through a rock? Oh, yeah, he has Spectral Tears, and I'm stupid. Uh, so let's see, the Haku goes into the store. He's going to grab the Steam Sale again, this time very early, so he actually gets half off on everything in his, uh, in his uh, stores. So after that, he bought another key, because he's going to need them. They aren't going to spawn too often. He's actually got a decent amount of keys for having Guppy's Tail that early. So he's actually been really lucky with this. Now, mind you, he'd be luckier if he could find more or more pieces of Guppy, let alone a key spawn. See what I mean? So let's see. What else? Oof. I was going to say, I think at this point, as the boss, I may have actually hit the, uh, the unicorn horn in this room. <laughs> Just to be safe. And by the way, the boss just said screw it to his item room. Went on down. So I completely forgot to mention that to you. Wow. Haku getting lucky getting both of his item or his item room and his boss fight attached to each other. Very nice. Yeah, the toothpicks basically do nothing. Yeah, champions are just different colored. They do twice the damage to you, basically. So at the most, they're going to do one full damage to you. Uh, but they also will drop an item when you kill them, so... No, it's not bad programming. <laughs> There's variants of enemies. Everybody always chalks stuff up that they haven't seen before to bad programming now. I love it. Very nice use of the uh, the tower card. So basically a one-time use of the... Uh, um, God, I can't think of the name now. The uh, Anarchist Cookbook, which uh, spawns six random bombs. Yeah, if you get three pieces of Guppy in the span of one run, it turns you into a full-on Guppy the Cat. Uh, what that does, real quick, uh, Haku getting a little health up and a god room. Ooh, with a halo, so plus one to all stats. I think that's the legitimate all stats up. I could be wrong. That might be missing range. I forget which it is. Uh, either way, though, um, actually, no, I think all stats up mushrooms is the one that works. Oh, I can never remember. Anyways, that should be all stats up by one. It's missing one of them, though, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where was I going with this? Uh, there was somewhere I was going with this thought. And now, I, Oh, yeah, Guppy. That's what it was. Uh, so if you turn into full-on Guppy, uh, you need to pick up three pieces. So either the uh, the Nine Lives Dead Cat, uh, Guppy's Head, Guppy's Tail, and or... Um, what's the other one that I haven't named yet? 
uh, Guppy's Paw. Uh, if you pick up any three of those in one run, it'll turn you into full Guppy, uh, which basically allows you... Wow, there's going to be a chain reaction on the boss's side. <laughs> oh, Flash, breathe, my friend. Uh, okay, it's my enemy. Who are we kidding? There goes his Flash. But it lets you fly. As you're shooting, you shoot out uh, very, very damaging fly tears as well. Uh, and it's just ridiculously overpowered. Speaking of overpowered for races, the Haku picks up the uh, the map there. So, again, with no keys, he can't get into the side room yet. But he's going to be able to see the entire layout of his floor now and have a better guess of where his uh, boss fights and item rooms are. It's magic much. Doesn't give the range up. Okay, so the, the Halo then's probably the uh, legit all stats up. Somebody call ICU. Flash is dead. Flash is dead. <laughs> I think there's one that actually hits all the uh, the stats, if I'm not mistaken. I think there was one. I forget what it is, though. It's like everyone is missing something, though. Like, one misses speed. One misses range. One misses... Uh, what was the other one, too? I can't even remember now. But, yeah, like, they're all... All the all stats up items are missing, like, one thing. It's really ridiculous. So with his key, Haku going back for his item room, gets Mr. Boom the space use item. So you'll see him probably give it a shot. Why not? I just made that rhyme. Damn it. Um, <laughs> not trying to do that, kids, I swear. Uh, nonetheless, uh, you saw him use that. He was basically trying for a super secret room. He doesn't want to take the item with him, so might as well utilize it and at least give it a shot. If you wind up with the super secret room, awesome. Okay, so it's Halo that's missing the range. Like I said, and then, like, one of them's missing speed. So it's really weird. Well, yeah, everything uses Flash. You realize that, right? Like, up until the point where HTML5 takes over, basically everything's, like, yeah. <laughs> Not much you can do about that. That's up, Quake. How you doing? Quite well, myself. Thank you. That's what it was. Super Meat Boy fan lower speed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what it was. I could not think of the other item to save my life. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, we can see you. There's 2,700 other people in here talking at the same time, though. It, it's really easy to miss it. Notice how fast your chat moves by? I didn't even see it happen. We all got to get over this thing on the internet, too, that, like, what you see on your screen is what everybody else sees, because it's, it's kind of not, guys. Like, that's the other thing, like, especially with, like, 20-some-odd hundred people talking. Like, yeah, it's, it's going to be missed from time to time. Well, then re-ask the question. I know you asked a question. That's what you just said. <laughs> Yeah, the wikis aren't 100% correct. At one point, like, somebody basically like, oh, gee, I'm sorry, and you think that telling me what to do in my channel isn't disrespectful. Cool. Love this generation. Um, anyways, later. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, uh, like I was saying, one of the wikis at one point got updated to say that I actually got Kara Knightley pregnant, so I think that goes to show that anybody can update a wiki with whatever they want to if somebody's stupid enough to approve it. So, case in point. Now, mind you, that'd be cool if it were true, but it's not. So I'm just going to put that out there. Not true. Pipe dream, not cool. But you're not true, so yeah. Yeah, Crumps, you dog you. Yeah, like, case in point. Like, you can you can really, really do some crazy stuff on wiki pages. So. What do you mean that's not true? You lie. <laughs> if only. If only that were true. I'm sorry, but what? Call me. <laughs> Call me anytime. <laughs> What's up, Mosk? <laughs> yeah, but but you did. You said you did. We believed you when you said you did. <laughs> yeah, wait, what? <laughs> Lies on the internet. No. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ducat, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We've all seen the pictures. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so slightly ahead at this point, literally by about half a room, getting into his boss fight first is the boss on the left-hand side. The war has got him down to one heart, so he uses a strength card, which gives him plus one to all stats, legitimately. 
Uh, which also gives him one health up for the room. Uh, get away from it. Okay, wow, I was gonna say, that's gonna be really close. Yeah, that flat penny really paying dividends right now. Like, that's the best thing you could get with Guppy's Tail. Ooh, and the worst room you could get again. Hello, Super Greed. We totally haven't seen you enough today. Good lord. So again, this is going to work out really well, though, because all the coins that drop have a chance to also spawn a coin. Or a, uh, the coins have a chance to spawn a coin. The coins that drop, when he picks them up, have a chance to also spawn a key. So again, being that, uh, oof, wow. Taking some damage in this room. Everybody's taking some damage here. We're living on the edge, folks. That cube of meat for the boss, he's going to move on down to the depths, too. Oh, and down goes Haku. Super greed. Two for two in this race. Super greed. Too strong. Too strong. Seriously, super greed. Two and oh right now. Like, mercy. Mercy, mercy, super greed. Seriously, back off, brah. Back off. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> All right, so spider butt for the Haku's first item. That'll actually injure and slow down everything in the room. Uh, boss is gonna go around looking for secret rooms and super secrets. Got the green or got greed in his first super secret or super room. Secret room. Bleh. Dyslexia. All right, so on to already finding his first boss fight. Haku's gonna get that one done real fast here. Let's see who he gets. Yeah, Duke of Flies. Say this ought to be a really quick fight if with him slow down. Yep, all it takes is that one bomb. <laughs> Words, how do they work, man? <laughs> like I said, and if you think this is bad, uh, there's a race at four in the morning. In six hours, there's another race starting. There's what four more races in line here, and then in six hours, we have another one. So, yeah. You think this is bad, too. Wait till next week. Next Friday and Saturday. Let me link up the schedule real quick. <laughs> Chronic. <laughs> Don't worry. We've all been misclicking today, dude. Don't even worry about it. I don't mind Chubb's... Like, Chubb's okay. Chubb's okay. Like, okay-ish, I should say. Like, he can be a real pain in the butt sometimes. Like, right there. If you think you have him dead and he runs right into you, you get so mad. You get so mad. Uh, anyways, what was I going to link? Uh, boiler. That's what I was going to link. Um, check out the second link on there for the schedule, and then look at next week on Friday and Saturday. Tell me where I'm sleeping. By the way, uh, racers, you guys got a schedule soon. Run on, Hydra. Have yourself a good one. Oh, I'm just talking about co-caster. Just got some chair with some bearded dude in it coming on at 4 a.m. Maybe a ferret I'll talk to, but it's mostly the chair with that bearded dude in it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, for those who don't know, Lethal Frag's going to co-commentate with me tonight at 4 a.m. for the Rum vs. Tornus race. I just thought I'd be a smart ass with it. Ooh, very nice. Odd Mushroom for Haku. Uh, is he thinking about resetting this? No, you're... T Quit typing, damn it! It's like, why did he stop? Oh, because he's putting a maw or the uh, mangry face into into my chat. That would totally explain it. <laughs> yeah, chair. MVP co-caster, baby. <laughs> yeah, you think you're not sleeping tonight. <laughs> Feel my pain. Oh, Frag's ferret, freaking awesome, are you kidding? Like, I love ferrets in the first place. Like, they're just such adorable little animals. They seriously are. Man, are they a pain in the butt to take care of, though. That They are high maintenance. But man, are they fun. <laughs> also, why did my chat seem to suddenly stop scrolling itself? Weird. Alright, I guess we'll refresh that. Sorry, I won't see chat for a brief second here. It's just refreshing. Anyways, we'll get away from the boss. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can fly. I was going to say, never mind. He can just, like, go off to the side there. He's fine. There we go. Now I can see. Now I see everybody again. Good to see y'all. So going into his, uh, his, uh, the, 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 the arcade. I can't think of words again. Sorry. Yeah, the climbing the green screen was so funny last night. Oh, my God. I was laughing. Like, wait a minute. What, what are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah, you just did that, didn't you? <laughs> you just see this, like, hey, I'm flying back here. Woo. 
That was so great. For those that haven't seen it, somebody link up that highlight, by the way. How far are we going? Through the, uh, the womb, too. Hey, what's up, Colton? How you doing? Hey, what's up, uh, Sergeant Jimmy? And I missed somebody else. Uh, what's up, Bolter? How you doing? There you go. There's a link for you, too. He's got it. <laughs> watch that real quick. You'll understand what we're talking about. It's hilarious. It's well worth a watch. Like, well worth a watch. <laughs> First off, learn what a space bar is. Second off, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, here's the fun part. Anybody can talk about whatever they want to. You don't have to listen to them. Amazing. <laughs> What's up, Forksy? How you doing? Now, we're here to have fun and be nice to each other, not like, I'm cool on the internet. Look at my EP. <laughs> and yes, I know he's got the knife. Everybody noticed. I don't have to call every single thing. I'm in the middle of talking about other things. I told you that ferret's awesome, isn't it? Uh, the tournament match is at uh, 4 a.m. Eastern, so that's coming up in six hours from now. And again, to the racers in the league, especially with the way that it's scheduling already next week, Proof of why we need to put two hours between races, not one. Because this is going to push all the next five races back further. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. In his devil deal. Ooh, I don't think he's going to wind up taking either of these. Haku's too far behind to take the forgive me now pill, and he's definitely not going to spend a heart on a quarter. Maybe he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Never mind, I spoke too soon. The forgive me now pill. Boom. Haku's resetting his floor. All right, never mind. <laughs> I was completely mistaken. Haku's going to take the chance that uh, perhaps the boss dies somewhere along the way here in the womb. I don't really necessarily think with the knife that's going to necessarily happen, but we'll see. You never know. No, look at my EP would be like these two basically like flapping their dick when they won and just like, dude, mine's bigger than yours. Look at it and just like rubbing it up against the camera. That's what that would be. <laughs> this is a race. There's a huge difference. Like, okay, have you never in any way, shape or form, you know, played like sports in high school, in gym class, anything like that? No, probably not. Case in point. <laughs> <laughs> Nosh. Well, that was an interesting visual. <laughs> All right, so the Yum Heart. At least Haku gets something out of it. He's not going to be happy with that floor reset, though. At this point, he is not going to be happy with that floor reset. The point was competition. I love how people are, like, just completely missing the point here. So, in any of those competitions where it's just like, hey, we're playing to have fun, was it ever just like, yeah, my dick's bigger than yours? Yeah, no, it's fun competition, guys. Like, seriously. I know that's an absolutely incredible thing with, like, oh, esports are like, we're going to beat the fuck out of you, and we got this collusion going on, so we're going to throw the match, and then we're just going to split all the prize money. Like, these guys are here to have fun. Like, they did this without any, any guarantee of any prizes. We're here to have fun. <laughs> And my dad can kick your dad's Isaac's ass in Isaac. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they they were playing with no guarantee of any sort of reward out of it other than to just basically be like, this is fun, I want to do it. That's basically all it amounts to. Everybody's here about having fun. I mean, like, I know all these racers personally at this point, and it's all about having fun. No, wait, it's not staged. What? <laughs> <laughs> What is this fun you speak of? Oh god, Ataco, I can only imagine. <laughs> How did that go? Ataco, for those that didn't read it, Ataco tried to show his dad Isaac today. I'm very curious about how this went. <laughs> Mosca. 
Oh, watch during the, uh, the Cobalt and Mara replay. Nice. Well, yeah, the first time you see it, you're not going to understand, like, okay, so you shoot things. Why is this entertaining? <laughs> That's what I'd have to imagine if it seemed like, as well, this is not entertaining. It's just, it's watching people not get shot in a game. Oh, look, you died. Yeah, why, why are you watching this? Like, <laughs> all right, so the bottle of pills, random uh, pill spawns there. So let's see. Yeah, he's only going to take one. I'll be damned. Haku's only going to take one. Leave that behind. He's going to take the yum heart with him. So he's going to hold on to this pill as well. He isn't going to use this in uh, in fear of it basically being a stat down pill. I had to see him crush him on gas sale. <laughs> oh, terrible. I don't see that happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't tend to sing much unless it's like a joke song, you know, like, Hate is gonna hate, love is gonna love. Like, unless I do something like that, like, it's, it basically doesn't happen much. Have any Australian players? No, we got uh, somebody from the Netherlands. We got, uh, let's see, uh, Bistro Scottish. Uh, who else am I forgetting? Uh, Trainwrecks from Japan. Uh, is that everybody from out of North America? Crap. I know I'm forgetting somebody else, aren't I? I'm forgetting somebody else. Uh, uh, there's other people in England, too. I Why am I spacing on who? Ah, uh, Tornus is in... Duh. <laughs> Herfity Durr, we just added Tornus to the league. Yeah, he's definitely not in America. That would kind of be Russian. Um, so, yeah. Um, no Australians, though. Like, not many cast, honestly. Not a whole lot cast. Who else am I... For? Oh, Zero. Thank you. Uh, zero game plan. Herfity Durr. Yeah, he's uh, he's from England, so who else? Oh, Latvia. Sorry. Sorry, it's Latvia. You think I'd get this right at this point? Not like I don't know this. That's a base. How you doing? Yep. Mars, Netherlands. Yeah, we need an alien. You, you live in Detroit. Doesn't that count? Oh, too soon? <laughs> well, there's a lot of Canadians. I said North America. I didn't say, like, you know, the United States of America. I said North America, the continent. <laughs> no casted for us. You guys have bad upload. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but Australia's got terrible internet. <laughs> Everybody in the, uh, the uh, in America that complains about their internet, yeah, ask an Aussie what their internet speeds are like. <laughs> yeah, the sub emotes only work for subscribers. Oh, don't you hate that tunes? Oh my god, do I hate that being tool toolbar install BS? It's everywhere too. Freaking everywhere. <laughs> What's up, zombie? How you doing? Or zombophobic. I, zombophobic? Hopefully I got that right. Uh, zombophobic. Yep, I got it right. Hopefully I got it pronounced right, but how you doing, zombophobic? <laughs> Which is none. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> oh man all right so let's see it's really hard by the way to tell where the boss is at in his womb too right now because he's got a curse of darkness i can't tell you anything about how many rooms he has to go how many he's cleared nothing i can't see this map at all on my head right now trying to watch two races i have no idea exactly what boss's map looks like at this point so he's looking for his mom's hard fight looking to even this up at one race apiece uh let's see Depths one, depths two, depths there, one, one. So three floors behind him is the Haku right now. Still trying to make a bit of a comeback here. Couldn't do math. <laughs> math is bad right now, guys. It's going to get way worse later. Mm, Google Fiber. Yeah, darkness on the womb too, especially. So a little bit more health up. Very nice find for the boss. A little bit of gambling time if he wants it. So let's get some links up in here. God damn it, would you turn that the fuck off? <laughs> like the only person that links half of this shit up when I see questions asked during that shit off. <laughs> there we go.
All right, so there's the split link for everybody. It's gonna make it take forever, otherwise, if I have to be like, can somebody link the split link for me? All right, there it is. Thank you guys again. Like, just not during the races. <laughs> Green blow, dude. Hawk is in some freaking trouble. Get it, get it. Oh god. Come on, Hawk, get through this. By the way, the boss is on his last boss fight here. No pun. Oh god dang it. This is why I hate the green blow. That instantaneous brimstone shot. <laughs> I knew where this was going to. I've seen this too. Whee! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I love that gif. I'm sorry, dude, but I love that gif. <laughs> That green bloat is such a pain in the ass, though, seriously. On that note, though, as you can see, the boss is ripping on through here, using both the Unicorn Horn and Mom's Knife, and has just evened us up in one game apiece, so very nicely done there, boss. So both of our new entries to the league this year, or two of our new entries, I should say, to the league this year, both have a win in this match. So we are going to go to match number three in one minute here. Now, God damn it, Haku, stop typing. <laughs> Nonetheless, like I said, give us about a minute here. We're going to let these guys reset until they get the type of floor that they want. And uh, again, very nicely done there, the boss. Yeah, I want you to find... <laughs> I want that gift, too. <laughs> I want you to find floor. No, uh, very nicely done there, boss, seriously. So again, we've evened it up here between uh, Kansas City and Jacksonville. Give me one minute to run ads, and uh, we'll be right back. We'll get race number three started between these two, and we'll see who the overall winner of the night is. So I'll be right back in one minute, guys and gals. Thank you very much. Alrighty, we're back and we're clear. So let me get this back over to our Isaac screen. Let's figure out what I'm doing. There we go. Alright, so like I said, we are clear. We are good to go for round number three. So again, we're going to start both racers with Isaac on the first floor here. <laughs> He's on here. Damn it. <laughs> ah. Up, oh, up. Oh, look at that shirt. Look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. All I'm saying. <laughs> Stop typing, damn it. <laughs> Anyway, so like you see, we got the Boss 10987 on the left representing Kansas City. We got the Haku representing Jacksonville on the right-hand side. <laughs> oh, God, that's why I love you guys. Uh, anyway, so they're both looking at their item rooms, and uh, they're both going to get rolling at their earliest convenience here. And uh, this will be the deciding match number three. We're going to race on through the womb, too. Uh, both have their D6, but you can only use that on seven particular items. Those are all banned in the league. I'll list them off here. They are the Bible. Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, The Shovel, uh, let's see, Two Picks, Dead Sea Scrolls, I'm forgetting stuff, um, I'm completely forgetting stuff now, I'm terrible, anyways, let's read it off of this, Dr. Fe or Bible, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, The Shovel, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, and The Two Picks, I knew I left stuff out, anyways, uh, those are all banned, you can reroll just those items, anything else is take it or leave it, speaking of that, we're off and running, we got Max's head, so that is a... Whoa, cat, Jesus Christ, you just had a heart attack, bro. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's a two times damage multiplier for the boss, so he's up to uh, six damage right now. Uh, let's see, uh, Dad's key, duh, probably not so great for the Haku. Yeah, he's going to reset. We're not even going to worry about what he had there. God, you freak the fuck out, bro. I just moved, wow, ten bombs again, seriously? <laughs> well, Haku may be uh, kind of stuck in an infinite loop of, hey, that's happening. <laughs> Gotta love it. Why are the toothpicks banned? They're not necessarily a bad thing. They just don't do anything for you. 
Uh, so we're letting the racers actually reroll them. Exactly, kind of what Ducat said there. It's not that they're banned, per se, like, oh, they're such a bad thing, you shouldn't be using these. It's more that, like, they just don't do anything. So we're basically letting people get, uh, you know, whatever they can out of it. Oh, we got giveaways going on. Somebody might want to type that into their Steam, I would assume. Looks like uh, G-Chain's actually giving stuff away there if nobody was looking. Which now that's gone, so don't even bother. But <laughs> No, 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 Mizu, you misspelled type. Type is spelled T-Y-P-E. <laughs> Haku, don't type! <laughs> Damn, Tibby, holy crap. That's not a bad start. If you don't win that, I'm going to feel real bad for you, by the way. So let's see Hawker ripping on through his boss fight here. Very nicely done. Boss obviously slightly ahead of him at this point. Yep, next race is Magic versus Full Metal Gambit, if I'm not mistaken. Huh. <laughs> well, that was a damn good key. <laughs> Can't really argue it. Damn, card. Holy crap. Yeah, Dad Humble Bundle 6. I do believe so, Diana. I do believe so. Yep. So let's see, what is the boss going to wind up with here? Ooh, Anarchist Cookbook, but he gets Golden Poo in his item room. So a little bit of money there. Looked like, wow, actually 12 cents. Oh, well, 11 cents if I could do my math. Not a bad Golden Poop. Uh, the next race is going to be almost immediately. We're actually late on the next race already, so pretty much everything has been pushed back by at least a good 15 minutes at this point. Yeah, to re do that quick reset, you need to hold down R. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about the on. Absolutely, you can get uh, Kadunk. One second here. For those that are wondering, if you go to uh, www.boiler, that's B-O-I-L-R, there's no E in it, uh, .org, that's that first link there. That'll actually get you to the uh, the league website with all the information on schedules, uh, standings, who's representing what team, all that good stuff. Uh, Haku getting a god room, getting the relic out of there, so every four rooms will get a uh, blue soul heart for himself. Again, I'm kind of surprised Anarchist Cookbook hasn't been utilized by the boss here yet. I would have dropped that a while ago just to see what happened. Just to see what happened. Like, right now, I would have used it. That would have dropped six bombs randomly in the room, by the way. Damn, card. <laughs> That's a banana. Or, sorry, banana. There's no extra A in that. <laughs> see, your, your mind wants to add random letters into stuff. You just look at the first and last letter and fill the middle in. Anyways, what's up, banana? How you doing? Aw, oh, Silas. <laughs> G-Chain's going at it again here. Nice, Fate. So the 10th most watched game on, uh, on all of Twitch right now, right here. Very nice. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for all the support on all this. I know the racers are saying the same thing, which reminds me on that note. Uh, what is it? Boy, oh boy, if I can spell... Let's try that again. Uh, boiler team, not boil team. Jeez, here we go. Duh. Duh, 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 duh. Nope, apparently that ain't it. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's BOI team. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Never mind. There it is. <laughs> oh, Mosk doing it too. Damn it. More codes in chat. Jesus, guys. But that'll get you to the entire uh, grouping of racers here. So all 32 of them are on that racing team. So that'll get you one easy way to follow everyone. And all to codes forever. Guys, if you type in a code and it's invalid, you gotta remember there's 2,000 other people copying and pasting that, so do you really think that you're the only person that has a chance at it? Mosk isn't trolling you. Nobody that does that is trolling you. It's somebody has already redeemed it, guys. You have to know how this works.
like I'm gonna look that closely at something. Again, guys, look at how fast your chat's scrolling, and then look at what I'm trying to do, calling two races. Do you really think I'm paying that close of attention to shit when I'm gonna read, like, 12 letters and be like, oh, that can't possibly be a real code, because right in the middle of it, something fucked up. Yeah, again, guys, do you... <laughs> Okay, I'm calling a race. There's two things. I'm controlling the entirety of it. I'm worried about the shit that's really pushed far behind now because we're behind on the next five races, so I'm dealing with shit on the side of that. Do you really think I looked that closely again? One day I'm going to have to do a full cast of like, here, let me show you exactly what I have to do to put this on. <laughs> and again, who do you think really needs to relax there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Will the reaction much in chat? Just saying. See, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I not doing a good enough job for you? Then here, we'll expedite you leaving. Again, guys, seriously, Jesus. It's my stream. I'm doing this however I want. If you don't like how it goes, you can leave. It's it's seriously easy. Probably because she spoke her mind and was being a bitch would be my guess. <laughs> I've been pretty much explaining everything as I've been banning him, so, yeah. So there's the Holy Grail for uh, Haku on the right-hand side, so now he's gonna get to fly. That's one of the real rare ones, actually, so he got health up off of that also, along with all these hearts that he's picking up and the health up outside from his boss, so he's moving on to Depths 1, so again, just... Wow, check this out. Double golden poops. <gasps> That's kind of rare. I saw... Ma was it Magic the other day? They got three in one of his rooms, if I'm not mistaken? So he's racing in our next race, by the way. That wasn't in the league, but nonetheless, I think Magic posted the other day. They got like three in one of the rooms. Holy crap. So one of those was almost guaranteed to be the counterfeit penny there, but wow. Oh, it was you that had three. It was Moss that had three. Okay. I knew it was somebody. It was somebody from the league. I couldn't remember who, though. Double golden poops all the way across the sky. But what does it mean, man? It means you got a lot of money and thankfully a baker in the next room. So let's see how this works out for the boss. So the hermit card would be a random, or not a random teleport. Like, oh, ho, ho, ho. The, the habit, never mind. We'll get back to the card in a second. Uh, well, he just used the card, so never mind. Uh, the card teleports you into your store, as you just saw. I was going to explain that, but yeah, cool. Uh, anyways, the, uh, the item martyr, the habit, if you get hit like that right there, uh, that would actually give you three of your six charges that you need on your space use items. So if you look off to the right hand side of that anarchist cookbook where it says space, uh, it's got those six lit up uh, kind of gray boxes on the side. Same thing with the D6 on Haku's side. Uh, that'll fill up half of those for you. And basically you'll be able to, uh, if you get hit twice in a room, you'll be able to use that item again. So that in conjunction with a few other items can either make you invincible or, wow, another judgment. My goodness, boss is going to be a lucky man here. Oh, except that he put that bomb too close. Oh, no. Oh, well, he'll he'll be perfectly fine with what he's got. I'm sure he'll he's perfectly happy with the setup still. He would have liked another item, but oh, well, things happen. He put that bomb just a little too close to the buddy there. <laughs> Speaking of bombs, uh-oh. Yeah, I was going to say, he's definitely getting hit here. So there's one of the charge. Notice into now uh, uh, the boss has got half of the charge back on his anarchist cookbook. So it's not a terrible thing. Not the greatest thing though with this uh, with this setup again. Like he wants something better in his space use item for that habit, but still good, still good. Oh, and sorry, the counterfeit penny uh, has a chance that when you pick up a coin, that it's going to add one cent to it. So pennies might be worth two cents, uh, nickels might be worth uh, six cents, dimes might be eleven, so on and so forth. Well, that's it, but you get the idea. Uh, anyways, got room for the boss, and he's going to wind up with the Guardian Angel. That's a double-speed orbital, so you can see uh, the Cuban meat on the right-hand side floating around the Haku. 
uh, is going at half the speed that the uh, the guardian angel on the left is actually traveling around the boss. 101 cents? No, you don't even get a dollar when you pick up a dollar. You only get 99 cents anyways. Wow, that inner compass at the end of it, mind you. But nonetheless, Haku's found his boss. So let's see how quickly he can get through these guys because he's got one champion mob in there, but it's going to be a real pain in his butt. There he goes. You got him easy. So let's see who he gets for his boss here in Depths 1. Ooh, a very easy fight in Monstro 2. So again, all you have to do is watch the 1-2, move to the other side. 1-2, move to the other side. 1-2. See what I mean by one, two, watch his reactions. Like the, the monster itself, just watch him. Don't watch Haku, just watch Monstro 2. One, two. One, two. One, two, move. One, two, move. Just keep doing that over and over again. This guy will never move, he will never hit you. How's up, Val? How you doing? Good to see you, man. All right, so utilizing once again. Ooh, this might work out well. That Anarchist Cookbook doing some work here. Too bad it's also hitting the boss, but nonetheless, putting in some serious work for him. Doing a lot of damage to enemies. And now the Celtic Cross again. That's about the seventh time today in these races. That's kind of getting ridiculous how much this is showing up. Again, uh, that gives you a, I think it's 33% chance, we said, uh, that if you get hit, that you get a five-second damage shield. Uh, kind of the same thing that the Polaroid would do if you got down to just half a heart. Ooh, dinner. Oh, that's not so good right now. I've got so many races coming up, though. I have to wait a long time to eat here. It's a bit, probably just that you invested too much time in Isaac. <laughs> I'm the same way, though. All right, so Voss has found his boss fight, and Haku's found his item room here in the Depths 2. Again, his, Haku says Necropolis does not have a number. He is on Depths 2. Uh, Necropolis 1 on the left-hand side for the boss, on the other hand, that actually will show a number, so if you don't see the number, you're on the second floor. Now, that comes in handy, especially in this situation for the Haku. Uh, well, not in this situation. Uh, is, what's he going to do? I wonder. Oh, he's thinking about his uh, hidden room. Oh, and didn't find it. All right, anyways, um, I'm kind of surprised he didn't use the uh, the space use item as his bomb there. It's a really strange choice. I would have just utilized the space use item if he was going to take the D6 back. Either way, uh, nonetheless, like I was saying, if... Um, Where's I going with this? Uh, on Depths 2, uh, so on Necropolis, if it doesn't have that number on there, be careful about going into your boss fight. If you have not gotten your item room yet, you will not be able to get out of there unless you can teleport. So always watch that and be real careful. How do you get the D6? You have to beat Mom's Heart with the Blue Baby. So you can do that one of two ways. You can either get the Blue Baby unlocked by killing Mom's Heart ten times, and then use the Blue Baby itself. Or... You can get the Ankh and actually die, give or take. Let's say the easy way is die the room before Mom's heart, if you have the Ankh. And that'll bring you back to life as the Blue Baby. Now, when you go into that boss fight, you are the Blue Baby. So you can see where this leads. Uh, all you have to do is kill that one fight with that particular character, and it's done. So there's two easy ways. Well, there's one easy way to get at it. The other one, you just have to take a lot of time. Yeah, Frag doesn't do competitive racing anymore. He's actually going to be uh, co-casting with me tonight for the uh, the Tornus versus Rum race at 4 a.m. Eastern. So Frag will be here for that. He will be possibly tomorrow as well, but we'll see what happens if anything times out correctly with his schedule. So you never know, but he will be here tonight. <laughs> but damn, that is one majestic beard. <laughs> oh, and if you think that's bad, if you guys haven't seen the schedule, check out next week's. <laughs> Next week, so you think I'm loopy now? Just wait till next Friday and Saturday. The second link on Spazbot there will uh, will show you my pain. And by the way, we don't even have all the races scheduled yet, so it's going to get worse if everybody goes on Friday and Saturday. Blue Baby's one of the characters that you can use in this game. you got a few characters that you can choose between. There is, uh, well, technically they're all you, but that's, that's storyline, whatever. Um, either way, though, there's a bunch of characters that you can choose to start with. Uh, there's Isaac, which is who we're using. Uh, there's a blue baby, which is three question marks. We call it the blue baby because it's a blue version of Isaac, but it's his name is question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, let's see, there's Judas, Samson, uh, Cain, Eve, Maggie, I'm forgetting somebody. I think I'm forgetting something. Who else haven't I named, guys? There's got to be one more. 
isn't there? I, I, I feel like I've forgotten somebody and I can't remember who. That's terrible. Oh, there you go. Isaac Kane. Oh, because I didn't say... No, I did say Isaac. I just didn't say it then, so that's what it was. No, I had Samson in there. Naked's got all the uh, the names, though. But yeah, you get uh, lots of choices, actually, between who you start the game as. Ooh, check this out. Boss getting that carry. That blue candle showing up yet again. This is like one of the most popular items to show up for some reason in the races so far. My god. Unbelievable. So again, one of the most overpowered items in this game. As you can see, it just took out two enemies in one fell swoop there. Man, your flesh does not like the blue candle. <laughs> Oh, Flash, why are you such a finicky mistress? Why? Why, I ask you. Ooh, nice dodge, Hako. I thought he was getting hit by that one there. Ooh, so Red Mom, very, very nice. So again, uh, the, ooh, how, where did that fire go? Weird. Uh, anyway, so there's the boss using the, uh, the one quote-unquote glitch that you can in this fight. Uh, basically, if you fire the blue candle into one of the closed eyeball uh, doors, whatever you want to call them on the side, if you fire uh, the blue candle into that, even if they're closed, it will still do damage. So always keep that in mind. That's kind of an easy way to kill that fight if you actually have the blue candle. Yeah, that chief's carry. <laughs> there we go. The other trick is with those mimics there, if you have any sort of orbital besides the, uh, the uh, halo of flies. So if you have flies, they won't actually hurt anything. But if you've got guardian angel or, let's say, sacrificial dagger or cube of meat, all you have to do is just have the uh, the mimics walk into you. Don't fire, because they'll fire at your fire rate too, and they'll fire into you. Uh, but just walk into them, let your orbitals do their job. They will not actually hurt you if you touch them. So never fear them. How's up, Reg? How you doing? Yeah, or use the spikes, either way. But if it makes it easier for you at that point, just walk into the dead center. Ooh, very nice use of the uh, uh, the best friend bomb there by Haku. Actually got Mom's foot to stomp on it, let alone actually got one other enemy killed out of it. Oh, got hit twice, though, and loses his eternal heart, so no more health up on the way down. Ouch. And don't poke the bear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All you have to do is win ten times against Mom's heart to actually get the uh, the blue baby unlocked. Or the question marks character. Uh, it doesn't matter what character you use, just use it ten... Or just kill Mom's heart ten times. Yeah, sometimes the poop socks glitch out like that, and they just kind of fly off screen like, Yeah, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> like, I don't want to be here anymore. You're going to kill me, and I'm out. <laughs> uh, the race goes through the womb, too, so whoever kills Mom's heart first is your winner. And Haku picking up the wire coat hanger. That'll be plus two uh, fire rate. Notice that he went over the Polaroid, did not pick it up. That is because uh, Haku is holding on to the tick. That has got a couple different uses here. Uh, again, we're only going to the womb too, so he does not need that Polaroid. Uh, thing with the tick is that it automatically does 15% damage to the boss when you walk in the room. Uh, it gives you one heart of heals back when you walk into said room. Also, same with mini bosses for that matter. Uh, but the bad problem is you cannot replace the tick. All you can do is get Mom's Purse for a second trinket slot to be able to grab another one. Why don't the races go to Satan? Because, uh, let's see, we're already half an hour over uh, into the next race already for scheduling. So let's recap. I got 14 hours of calling races today. We're not even halfway through the first week of races yet, and I did 10 hours yesterday, too. So that's why we don't go to Satan yet. <laughs> thank you, Ozzy. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciate the compliment. Basically, the gist with why we don't go to Satan, uh, it would take too long. <laughs> that's the only reason. <laughs> Alright, so looking pretty well dead even right now. It's kind of hard to tell who's in the lead, though Haku just found himself another dead end. Now at this point, he kind of wasted that bomb because he's just going to wind up killing the room because he wound up killing so many enemies with that bomb. There you go, so the uh, the relic paying off for Haku, giving him a soul heart there, so a little bit more health for him. So boss and Haku right now pretty dead even, both just looking for boss fights here. It's all you can find down here that's going to be of any real value at the moment. And at this point, it's whoever kills the next two boss fights first is going to be your winner of this particular race. What's up, crew? How you doing? There we go. Speaking of boss fights, boss has found his. So on the left-hand side, we got a very slight lead at the moment for the boss. 
Again, Haku can immediately find his boss fight for all we know. I was going to say, wait for it, it'll be attached to this room. No such luck, though, but let's see who the boss winds up with. Ooh, the Fallen, so he's going to wind up with a Devil item off of this. So let's see, Balls of Steel Pill, very nice, getting two extra health. And boss using that candle to his advantage, killing off the uh, the quad shot coming after him, and also hitting the boss with it. Well, hitting the Fallen, not the You know what I mean. This is getting really confusing. I'm going to have to really watch what I say when the boss races. Speaking of boss fights, Aku's found himself his, so he's got one room to clear real fast here with the, uh, the hollow. And you'll notice when Haku walks into this next boss fight, notice that he doesn't, or he's missing one heart right now, and now he's at full health. So that's the tick healing him. Now learn to speak, God. What's up, Mr. Panda? How you doing? <laughs> They're troll away, isn't it? Alright, so ripping through Teratoma here. Haku looking to catch up because the boss has moved on to the womb too. So again, you see him just walking into those mimics. All you have to do, never worry about him hurting you. Uh, a little bit more health up for Haku and a devil deal. What's he going to get? I was going to say, do you risk going in here and worry that you have to fight the fa or, uh, uh, Krampus at this point? He's going to say no thanks. Move right on along though. Oh no, curse of darkness for Har ha Haku. For the Haku. Boy, I can speak, guys. I speak so well. Um, either way, though, so we're not going to be able to see Haku's mini-map. He's going to wait for that bomb to explode because any rock in the womb might be a soul rock. But this is going to be a really close one, guys. Uh, boss has cleared, I think, two more rooms than Haku at this point. But either of them could come across their boss fight here, and we are just looking for Mom's heart at the end of this. Really close race right now, though. This is dead even, and by the way, this is for all the marbles. It's a best of three, so whoever wins this one gets the win. Nobody wants that week one loss. You don't want to start off 0-1. 1-0 and 0 looks so much better in the win column. All right, a few more pills. We get, ooh, health up for the boss, so even more health rocking on the left side. Now hold on to your testicles. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Nothing for either of them again. By the way, the boss has got one of the worst mini-bosses that you could possibly fight in this game. Freaking hate having to fight this room. Kind of surprised he isn't using that one bomb to bomb through it, but then again, if he doesn't come across his boss room, he's going to have to fight this on his way back through. So, I guess he might as well kill it now. Either way, though, this is going to eat up a lot of time for the boss. Oh boy, he gets an early charge back on his D6. I forgot he's got, or on his uh, candle, I forgot he's got the habit. <laughs> Uh, even faster uh, candle charges, because totally necessary, right? So speaking of using bombs to get through doors, Haku's going to do that, and aha, has found his boss fight. So the Haku now definitely in the lead, because he knows where that he's got his boss fight coming in the next room. Woo. So here we go. What's up, Morag? How you doing? That duder. So let's see what the card is. Oh my god, the sun card. Just in case Haku needed a full heal in the next room, he's got it. Uh, I really don't see that being necessary for him, though. And now the boss knows that he is running for his life here, so he's going to go looking as fast as he can for his boss fight. Probably, possibly too little too late, unless he gets it in, like, the next room. We'll have to see what happens here. Eh, he's not going to be lucky enough. He doesn't have any bombs. He can't just bomb through doors. No. ho ho Bad timing on that one. All right, so the Haku getting down to about 20% health taken out of Mom's heart. So about a fifth of the way done. <laughs> Praise that son. What's up, Desert? How you doing? That Haku hype. Let's see if he can finish this off, guys. He's pretty close. All right. Boss is... Got another room to clear at least. This is not lucky for the boss right now. This is not looking good for the boss on the left. Haku's got a lot of time left, and keep in mind, boss does have that blue candle, so he can rip on through a few rooms here, let alone these boss fights, but this might be a little too much damage to overcome. We'll have to see here. I'm actually kind of surprised Haku didn't pop the sun card as soon as those knights showed up, especially with no bombs. That would have been the one that I would have taken out with. Uh, the sun card will do damage to everything in the room, by the way. That's kind of surprising. I thought the mom's heart was staying out for some reason. Speaking of sun cards, look who found one. So, oh wow, he had one room to go. That's evil timing on that sun card. 
Anyways, boss gets one as well, so that's a full heal, damage to everything in the room, and a map reveal. Uh, unless you have a Curse of Darkness like Haku does, it will not show you the map. But just outside his boss fight right now. Haku getting that full heal and damaging everything in the room. Oh, bad timing on it though. Here come the knights again. This is going to hold Haku back some time. So this gives the boss an opening here. This ain't over yet, guys. This is not over yet. Here we go. Two hearts left for the boss. So this is still risky, but he's got... Ooh, very nice use of the bomb there. Very nice hard pickup. So, oh man, this is going to get closer than I thought I would, guys. It's going to get way close here. Although for the Haku now, he should. Yep, here comes the heart staying out the whole time. So Haku's going to be doing nothing but straight damage to the heart here. So we are going to have to rush on the boss's side. Oh no, he didn't get one of the knights. He missed one of the knights. Bad timing on that. All right, there we go. Perfect placement though. Oh, it's going to be too little too late, I think. Especially with the one heart left. Oh, that attack flight doing work. Oh, it's too little too late, guys. Wow. Unbelievable, the Haku finishing it off just barely before the boss, and I do mean just barely before him. Wow. That was a hell of an ending again, guys. Unbelievable. Seriously, great race again, and well done there by the Haku. Seriously. Now the Haku wins. <laughs> nice. Fatality. Your soul is mine. No, French. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love that one, dude. That's freaking perfect. Seriously, congrats, though. Great end of that race. And there you go. Boss says, well played, sir. Very well played. And very well played yourself, the boss. Seriously, great job, man. That was close, guys. That was insanely close at the end there. Like, wow. Couldn't have asked for a better game three than that one, guys. Seriously. Phenomenal run, both of you. But again, congratulations to the Haku. Uh, the next race is coming up, like, right now. <laughs> Uh, so, once again, there's a link to both of their channels in uh, one fell swoop on that CadGuard.net link. Uh, so, that will get you into...